All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, build a technical documentation page, user stories number four. All right. So each section element with the class of main section should also have an ID that corresponds with the text of each header contained within it. Any spaces should be replaced with underscores, uh, ergo the section that contains the header, JavaScript and Java, uh, should have a corresponding ID of JavaScript and Java with the underscores uh, replacing the spaces. All right. So that's what we're going to do up here. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to come in right after the uh, main section class of the first one, push space ID equals like this, and then we'll have the uh, empty string. And then in here, we'll just say filler, and then we'll do underscore text and then underscore like that. And just leave it like that because we're going to copy paste again. Uh, let's delete the one right here because we're going to have to do this all the numbering all over again. And let's get to, to the end of the first section all the way up to the end of the main doc. Copy that. And then let's take from the end of the last section all the way to the end of the first section and then paste that one, two, three, four times. So now we're just going to say in the filler text ID, we're going to say at the end of it one and then two for the next one, three four, five, and then at the end of the filler text, five, four, three, two, one, just like that. And let's check it. First, let's open up the console. Then let's come down here, check it, run the tests. It says we should have at least 10 P elements total within the main section elements. And that looks like what's on story five. So that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, we'll see you next time.